This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to collect your own encyclopedia set, pop along to fanhome.com where you can find them for sale in many different territories across the world. So thank you once again to Fan Home for providing me with these books. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at what you get in each delivery. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to pack six, delivery six of the excellent Star Wars Encyclopedia from Fan Home. Uh, we've got another four of these to look through. Uh, we've got the Rise of the Rebellion and the Battle of the Avin, Yoda and other users of the Force, Kylo Ren and other followers of the Dark Side, nicely balanced those, uh, and TIE Fighters in the Starships and Vehicles. Uh, these are <coughs> books number 9, 19, 30 and 73. So I shall look through them in the, that order, but you know, it doesn't really matter because they're going to go in the shelf in, in order anyway, because otherwise the little picture doesn't make sense. But uh, you can pick up any one from the shelf and look through it to your heart's content. Uh, so this one is the uh, Rise of the Rebellion and the Battle of Yavin. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we're going to be talking about in here. I'm guessing it's going to be, you know, the Rise of the Rebellion and the Battle of Yavin. Uh, so we've got uh, stuff, Crisis of the Tented Four, obviously. Um, it's the story of Star Wars, Destruction of Alderaan. It, it's the story of Star Wars by the looks of it. Uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much that. Reunion on Yavin 4, it, it's, it's, it's a new hope. That seems to be what this is all about. Uh, yes, so obviously some nice pictures, and it's yeah, it's the start, of the crisis backstory on that. Um, holding Vader, obviously searching for the droids. Yeah, if you don't know the story of A New Hope, then go and watch it because it's excellent. So, uh, yeah, if this is the the new version with the improved visuals and flying droids and things. Uh, ultimate power, the Death Star, yeah. The Imperial Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. So the leaders of the Imperial military, the destruction of Alderaan, yeah, not, not a fun thing to see. Uh, Gordon, the Death Star, yeah. Oh, shut down all the trash compactors on the detention level. Sections, everyone, swinging across. Yeah, it, it's it's the story of Star Wars. Hard one escape. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, reunion on Yavin Four, and then there's going to be against the enemy. Strategy of the Battle of Yavin. Uh, proton torpedoes. You know, it's only two meters across. How are you possibly going to do that? Uh, yeah. Rebel forces. And um, yeah, a little bit of the Imperial forces, different types of TIE fighters. Moment of triumph, yeah. You're all clear, kid. Blow this thing and go home. That's that. And then the medal ceremony. So yes, it, it's pretty much that's that was a new hope. Uh, what we've got the last of yet the last of Alderaan. Um, Search the length and breadth of the galaxy in order to find all the Alderanians that have survived the destruction of their planet. Yeah, because there's obviously some that weren't at home at the time. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. I Obviously a, car, a comic version. Doing that. There we go. She looks a bit... Uh, not evil, but certainly ready for action there, isn't she? So, yeah, that, that was basically the Rise of the Rebellion. They might as well just call it Episode 4 and be done with it. Leading on from episode four, we've got basically episode five, and it's going to be Yoda. Mostly appeared in that. So in the prequels, I assume we'll be starting with some of the stuff in the prequels. Uh, Yoda and other users, uh, different people there. I do like that. That shot just sums up Yoda to me. He's just sort of patiently standing there, all happy, and just, yeah. 
Um, right, for some reason we're starting with Oppo Rancisis. Rancisis, who's a this this pass this Pasasian. This I don't know. Comes comes from this pass. Got green bladed lightsaber. You've ever seen it, but there we go. Hello, yeah. Home Wars pilot is not a force you. Oh, because that was still going on with Plo. Qui Gon. Bits about Qui Gon. Young Obi Wan. A bit about Qui Gon. I was expecting more Yoda. Maybe we'll get there at the end because it might be alphabetical. Ah, yeah, go. Yoda and other force users. Quinlan Voss. Don't know who that is. Uncertain fate. Uh, Bess, I don't know, obviously from the Clone Wars. Sense of foreboding. There's Viola. Open mind. Yeah, I like it. The Yoda against Doku. All good. A uh, bit of victory. Clone Wars type uh, animation. Yeah, all, all, all good stuff. There was enough about Yoda in there to make me happy. I, I was a little bit concerned at the beginning, but no, we, we drift on to Yoda at the end. Final fight. He looks unhappy there, doesn't he? Getting old. Uh, life after death, obviously. He returns in spirit form. Uh, Yoda and Luke. All good stuff. I like that. I like Yoda. He was always good. And that was obviously the last time we saw him. Uh, on Ankto. Yep. That was that. Yoda and other users of the Force. Uh, next up, we've got the uh, the opposite of that. We've got Kylo Ren and other followers of the dark side. So, what we've got here, Kylo Ren and other followers. Um, in Solo's childhood, interestingly. Uh, I don't know all of these people. Snoke, I recognise that name, but that's about it, really. Um, so the first order, Ford Snoke, yeah. So it's gonna be the Knights of Wren and stuff like that, isn't it? Ben Solo's childhood, obviously his parents. Pupil of Luke Skywalker, yeah. You sense that? It feels a disturbance in the force. There we go. Yeah. I, I like the way the art style bring, bends in to give a younger version of the character that we're aware of. And we know he's obviously been building a lightsaber and not doing it quite right. That's why it was all glowy, fiery like that. Um, yeah, Snoke uh, took him as an apprentice and obviously similar to the Luke going in and facing Vader. Uh, fought against the vision of his own uncle. Uh, Sakodana and the death of Han Solo. Raid, isn't he? Dream leader, Ren. Yeah, interesting story arc there. Campaign of Terror. Cartoons and comics as well. Uh, Applek. I don't know. Obviously, been in the film, but I don't know who it was. Group of Knights. Oh, it's one of, one of the Knights of Ren. There we go. He's got a Vibro Axe. Uh, Cardo. I don't know how you can see. You can't see very well. Obviously uses the force rather than eyes. There, that's why I didn't recognise the names. They named all of the Knights of Rin and give you a bit of background on each and every one of them, which is quite interesting. All got different helmets, obviously, so you can tell them apart. Uh, Rise of the First Order. Snoke. Blade. Yeah. Oh, Nice stuff. What's the last bit? Last bit of uh, uh, repairing Rin's helmet. Okay, yep, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was that. Uh, the last one from this month's delivery is all about TIE Fighters. <coughs> Twin Ion Engine Fighters. There we go. How many different varieties of TIE Fighter can you name? I bet there's more that you can't. Uh, so we've got TIE Fighters, the Origins and Design. Uh, the tie in fighter, I don't know what an in fighter is. So I design battle tactics, uh, advanced prototype, prototype, 
Interceptor, Inquisitor's Tie Advanced, Defender, Innovations, Bomber, Elite Starfighter, Dagger, Kylo Ren's, yeah, lots of different variations on the traditional TIE Fighter. That's uh, sort of one of the new ones, isn't it? But different. Like the, the New Order version, but not quite the same. Uh, I do like the curvy design that the Inquisitors had, the uh, TIE Advance V1, apparently. I like that. But the iconic TIE Fighter, yeah, as a, a place in many people's hearts as a classic design. I've seen that picture before in that part of the page as well when we're looking at yeah, him. It's interesting. Obviously, you've got so many pictures you can reuse them, but there we go. The X1 prototype. I like the blueprints. Interceptor is the sharp pointy one. Uh, Dagger is the one that's got even, even pointier wings on it and that inquisitors run with the bendy ones advanced v1 tie fighter yeah i'm not sure about the folding bit and they're not the total panel is on the inside i'm not too sure about that there we go the defender i remember that from the games that was where that was introduced in x-wing and tie fighter very cool i like the look of that as well that's very nice uh yeah it, it yeah more of the tri fighter type thing, but I, I like it. Um, yeah, Tide Defender Elite. I didn't know there's a variation on that, but it, it's got proper visibility from the cockpit, which the Tie Fighter obviously hasn't. You can't see sideways. So uh, yeah, bomber, traditional. Yeah, and back in the day, I remember them. Uh, that's the heavy Starfighter. There we go. It's basically got an extra gun pod bolted on instead of the bomby thing. It's all right. Pivoting laser cannons. Uh, tie SK. That's for Scarif. There we go. That's a striker. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's that's the one I was thinking of. Tie striker, which is quite nice. It's a bigger version. It's got more cargo area and troop transporty type of thing. I think. Um, atmospheric, of course, yes, because it was used for mainly in atmospheric things. So uh, it needs to think about that. Uh, tie RP, oh, the Reaper. That was a troop carrier. That was the other one I'm thinking about. Similar thing, but different. Boarding craft, uh, tie MG. Is that like a sports version, isn't it? A mining guild. Okay, that's cool. They've got they've cured the visibility problem by chopping a bit of the wing off. Why not? It works. Uh, Outland, the wings fold the different direction, but it makes sense for it to do that, so you can get in and out easy. Uh, FO, the first order one. Yeah. The extra bit on the side, the stripes on it and things. More, more guns. That's the one I was thinking about. The special forces one or something. Model superior. Uh, type B A. I like that. That's nice. It's got a nice uh, red red hull, red design. Stands out a bit in space, but there we go. Uh, the type V N. Uh, don't know why what the V N means. Uh, better than special forces. Use the type defender as a reference. Basically built up an armoured version that looks mean. It, it just looks evil, doesn't it? It's, uh, other First Order tyres. Dagger, yeah, that's the one with the just just pointy... Why not? Uh, oh, so Dagger was red and black. Uh, Sith Origins. Choice of colours gave it a menacing appearance. It does, it looks menacing enough. Works. Um, modified interceptors. Jumped over, wasn't it? That's quite cool. I did, that scale doesn't look right to me. The TIE Fighter doesn't look... It looks too big, but I'm sure it's right. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, and then the uh, WI Interceptor. I don't know, again, what that means. Whisper. Stealth technology. Interesting. Cool. So, there we have the four volumes in this delivery. Uh, delivery number six. Uh, still a ways to go, obviously, but I'll put them in order on the shelf and they'll add to the nice uh, spine display. And when I want to find something, you can find it in the characters and creatures or history and events and starships and vehicles. Now, as with these, I never know what's going to be coming next month. So it could be, you know, more of this or the 
two or three things that we haven't touched on this time probably the weapons and technology and bases and things but yeah it's always fun and interesting i hope you're enjoying this quick look at it obviously i'm not going through each individual page on it because you should go out and buy your own because it's nice to have on the shelf so uh thank you for watching stick around for more part work building and another one of these coming in about a month so thank you very much for watching stay safe i shall see you soon bye bye for now Thank <laughs> you.